Hello and welcome to this peek into harvesting sunflowers near Davis, California. This is how sunflowers look when they're ready for harvest. I'm your host, Jamie Zachary Fox. Sunflowers are grown in vast fields throughout the Sacramento region. This field is along Route 98, perhaps two miles west of Davis. Following a summer of majestic bloom and beauty, irrigation is turned off. The plants are treated and they desiccate in the blazing California sun. When they're dry enough, harvesting happens. They're harvested by large, complicated machines. Seen here is a Kloss Lexion Combine Harvester. Such a machine is called a combine because it combines the multiple functions of reaping, threshing, and winnowing. The harvest is collected into a holding tank you can now see open on top of the combine. That long pipe contains an auger for unloading the grain tank. That large plume is not smoke. It is organic residue left over from threshing and winnowing. It will settle on the field, become plowed under, adding nutrients for the next crop. The combine's header implement guides the desiccated sunflowers into the cutting bars. In this reaping stage, the sunflower heads containing the seeds are cut off. They're passed on to the thresher that uses rotating cylinders to separate the seeds from almost everything else, all while it's being blasted with air to separate the chaff from the seeds, a process called winnowing. The remaining seeds go into the grain tank open on top of the combine. All other organic debris is left in the field. When the tank is sufficiently full, meaning there's insufficient room for another pass down and back on the field, the operator will elect to unload. Approaching the trailers, the auger pipe needs to be swung away and its nozzle needs accurate positioning. Precise placement is always difficult, especially for an operator with a machine so large and so bulky. But once the position is good, the operator will fix in place and turn on the auger. When the auger begins running, the tank on top will begin giving up its seeds to be transferred by the auger into the trailer. Kudos to the operator. It's no easy task to reap the harvest then deposit it into a waiting trailer. The tank continues to go down and the trailer continues to fill. When this becomes empty, the operator will head back and fill another tank and bring another one back. So this harvester made several passes through the field, gathered seeds, which was the reason for the harvest, filled its tank, left organic residue on the field to be incorporated into an upcoming crop cycle, then went and unloaded into waiting trailers. Let's look at another example. Here's a field about seven miles northwest of Davis. The machine you see is a John Deere combine harvester. Once again, you see the header guide the plants into the cutter bars. The threshing and winnowing then happen. Notice some of the guides are empty due to the open lane. These open lanes are usually for tractors to perform spraying operations during the life cycle. Now from the side, notice the operator continually adjusting the height of the header implement based on the plants being harvested. It takes a watchful eye and careful operation to get the most out of the crop. From behind, you can see the grain tank atop the deer combine filling with the seeds. There's more of a plume than in the previous shot because here all the feeder guides are being fed with sunflowers. Once again, once the tank is full or full enough, the operator heads to the trailers and unloads the grain. Notice here that the left trailer has already had a canvas cover pulled over and fastened over the seeds so they don't blow away while being transported. Well, that's brief coverage of harvesting sunflowers near Davis for this 2021 season. Thanks for viewing. I'm Jamie Zachary Fox.